Hi everybody. Uh, I'm Adam Vormark. I uh, run a an army business um, called On Mark Armory. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, and I'm the captain of the Order of Wrath, Free Range, ACL, IMCF, HMB, Battle Nations, whatever. We do medieval combat. Um, now, this is this is a video I'm making to call out Metatron um, and Scalagrim. I, I don't really care about you. You're kind of annoying, and, and, and I don't I don't I watched like two of your videos and was like, holy shit! I can't believe I just wasted that much of my time. Um, Metatron, your video popped up on my buddy's page, and I actually watched it. It was your section on uh, M M1 Global uh, Medieval Combat, and I just, you're an annoying twat, so I, I made this list of shit that you said, um, and I'm going to go through and read that real quick, and then I'm going to go through and explain why you are incorrect. Um, and side note to everybody before I actually get into this, I will be swearing. I don't I don't really fucking care. I'm sick of this shit, um, and it needs to get put, put to rest. Um, and Kima guys, mad respect for you guys, at least the ones that take it seriously and research their shit and go out and do all this shit. Not just the guys that fucking are like, oh yeah, I just took a Hema class and you, you, you fucking hit a guy with a, a fucking polypropylene sword once. Fuck you guys, you don't know shit. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's see. I'm just going to read through the list of shit you said and I'm going to try and keep this as quick as possible. Uh, you said, it isn't medieval. Modern fencing is closer to the way knights fought. I don't even want to know the level of quality of their armor. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sword and shield is a less effective weapon you could conceive to bring to a fight against an armored opponent. They smash each other on the head. This makes absolutely no sense. Um, they constantly try to cut each other's plates. It makes no sense. Uh, except, blah, blah, blah. Ah, let's see. They would have worn better quality armor. Knights wouldn't have worn mild steel. Heat treating low carbon steel doesn't do anything. Knight's armor would have had a higher level of carbon in it. You can't dent Knight's armor so easily. They would have half-sorted against each other. Uh, they would have used blunt weapons, hammers, and pole arms. You would have never seen sword and shield on the battlefield. Um, this has nothing medieval in it. It's just a show for making money. You need to practice HEMA. Those guys are buffoons. They're an insult to HEMA practitioners. This is a facade. It's false. It's fake. They call them knights. They are trying to sell it as something medieval. It has nothing to do with knightly combat. HEMA is what you should be looking into. Okay, so those are all the things you said that I have an issue with. So you said it isn't medieval. You're completely and 100% wrong. We document all of our fucking shit, all of our armor, all of our weapons has to be some found somewhere in history, whether it's a museum replica, whether it's you know found in a uh, on a page that you should actually look up and I'll try and go and post a bunch of this this information and stuff for you guys in the comments and whatnot so you can go actually research it your fucking selves um, with manuscript miniatures it's just a bunch of fucking pictures uh, and it's got effigies and brasses on it so statues pictures drawings tapestries whatever that are from the medieval era that literally have pictures of half the shit we fucking wear okay and and the the weapons we use that are that are clearly so fake yeah. So, <clears throat> modern fencing is closer to the way knights fought. I'm assuming you're referring to Olympic fencing, you know, okay, like foil epee type stuff. Uh, well, considering that was made after all the knights were pretty much being phased out, well, you're wrong. Um, I don't even want to know the level of quality of their armor. Says the guy who I've seen orders shit made in India. Oh, okay, cool, dude. Guess what that's made out of? Usually mild steel. Um, or, or fucking aluminum. So, uh, don't even want to know the quality of their armor. Well, for starters, you mentioned mild steel. Um, this is mild steel that we, it's a van brace that we did a test on to see how much damage our weapons do, shit like that. And I mean, as you can see, it's, it's pretty banged up. Uh, there's some pretty heavy dents in it. Uh, and I let my girlfriend do the damage testing. So, if that doesn't show you that it's pretty, pretty easy to dent that shit, I don't know what does. Um, and, and I mean, I... I can bend this shit with my own hands, so let's see here. I just flattened that out myself. So uh you said ah, I'll get to that one later, I'll bring that back up. But let's see, you don't even want to clear armor. So our armor is generally some kind of high carbon steel, 4130, 1065, whatever heat treated shit. My buddy Alan Vision of Vision Armor uses 1045, which is technically, if I remember correctly, a low carbon steel, but it's heat treatable which it means that you can harden it and then temper it to make it springy or have you know harder characteristics than just your standard mild steel. 
or untreated high carbon steel, which untreated high carbon steel is basically the same, it's fractionally the same as mild steel, it just has a little more carbon, so it's a little tougher. Um, sword and shield is a less effective weapon that you can see to bring to a fight against an armored opponent. Well, considering, like, thousands of the pictures in the manuscript miniatures documents and in tapestries and in all that other shit shows guys with a sword and shield, I think you might be wrong. I think history might be telling you something there. Um, also, I've used a shield to punch a guy clean off his feet. And doesn't Hema teach you a little bit about grappling, where if you get the guy on, your, on, his, on his back, he's, you know, oh, he's a turtle, he can't get up, he can't move, all that shit. So, wouldn't that be a good thing to have? Bash a guy onto his fucking back and then stab him? I, I don't know, that sounds pretty logical to me. Sounds pretty effective to me. Uh, they, and also, oh, shields are for blocking, by the way. So if a guy's trying to stab at you, you can use the shield to stop that. Effective. Um, let's see, they smash each other on the head. This makes absolutely no sense. Well, considering right after you said this, you went and showed a clip of them explaining the fucking point system a little bit, uh, and you said they operate on a point system where they strike their opponents. So, so why wouldn't you hit the fucking guy in the head? If you're trying to win, if you're trying to use points to win this shit, wouldn't you be hitting the guy at w wherever you can to get these points? It's like saying, oh, well, MMA is scored by points, uh, you know, with punching and kicking and elbows and whatever, but, but that guy just, just punched that guy. Why would he do that? It makes no sense. It makes perfect sense, you fucking retard. It's to score a point. This is a sport, after all. They constantly try to cut each other's plates. Well, I'm pretty sure you said that they had blunt weapons, which we do. So how are they going to cut the plates? Idiot. Um, also, um... You said it makes no sense. Uh, any any weapon with an edge is capable of slashing, okay? Cutting through stuff. So, you know, you hit a guy in a gap in his armor, you hit a guy in a gap in his armor, you're going to cut him, you're going to do damage. Whether it's a straight blade or, or, or a fucking scimitar or what the fuck have you. They would have worn better quality armor. Says who? Says who? And at what period in time? Because they were using mild steel up until, I want to say, I want to say it was like 14th century or some shit, before they actually started getting real deep into the heat treatment of steel. It might have even been 15th century. But the point is, not all knights would have had fucking anything better than mild steel, you goddamn retard. And how long ago does knighthood stretch? I mean, what, 11th century or, or back even farther, I, if I remember correctly? Those motherfuckers were wearing chainmail! Fuck you! That's not plate armor. That's not high carbon shit. That is mild steel rings, either butted together or fucking riveted together. So, you're wrong, again. Knights wouldn't have worn mild steel. I just went over that one. Heat treating low carbon steel doesn't do anything. Oh my fucking god, dude. Just because it's low carbon doesn't mean it can't have some characteristics that make it better. Okay? If you heat treat low carbon steel, and this is the other thing, 1045 is considered a low carbon as far as, as well, no, sorry, I think it's 1035, some shit like that. But there's a certain point to where you can't harden it. That's all. That's the only difference. And when you do harden it and you temper it, it only gives it a certain amount of spring. Okay? That's the only difference is how springy it, it, it is, how, sp how much damage it can take and still spring back to shape. That's the only fucking difference, dude. Low carbon steel. Knight's armor would have had a higher level of carbon. Sure, after a certain century. So, you're wrong in generalizing that all knights would have had high carbon steel armor. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, they would have half-sorted against each other. Well, I mean, sure. Except that that's like one fraction of the amount of, of techniques that they could have used. So, that's not all they would have fucking done. They would have used blunt weapons. Hammers, you know, pole arms and, 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 and maces. Well, not all maces were blunt, and not all hammers were blunt, and not all pole arms were blunt. So, you're fucking wrong. Um, you would have never seen sword and shield on the battlefield, except that there's hundreds of manuscripts depicting... <laughs> that's, yeah, pretty much. Uh, depicting them using that shit, so I'm pretty sure they used that shit just fine, and you would have seen it plenty on the battlefield. Um, this has nothing to do with medieval. It's a show for making money. Well, for starters... I, they probably do make some money in ticket sales and shit like that, but you kind of have to make money to put on a big event like that. Um, you need to practice HEMA. Those guys are buffoons. They're an insult to HEMA practitioners. Dude, you're an insult to HEMA practitioners. Real HEMA practitioners aren't going to fucking give a shit about what we're doing, okay? They're going to fucking be researching, and they're going to be out there in their armor practicing their techniques, doing their shit, okay? Not jumping on YouTube to whine about how we're not historical. 
even though they don't do any research on us to actually see if we're doing historical shit or not. So, you should start researching, just just so you know, before you start opening your mouth anymore. Um, this is a facade, it's false, it's fake. <clears throat> this is a 12 gauge 304 stainless helmet, it weighs about 11 pounds on its own. And you can see that it's got some pretty, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but I've got plenty of pictures and shit. Um, you can see it's got sizable dents in it. Guy's, guy's head inside was just fine, but it, it, it's a fucking 11 pound helmet. How is that not real? How is that fake? It's got dents in it. How are the hits fake? How is any of it fake? Unless your only argument here is that we're not real knights. It's nothing to do with knightly combat. Okay, sure, because none of us really care about horses and we're not jousters, and we're not running around saying that we're some fucking crazy pack of chivalrous knighted dudes, okay? Knights is a general term for us. We're dudes that dress up and wear armor and fucking go kick the shit out of each other. It's a sport. What, what, do, you, what, what do you want us to call each other? Okay, I, I usually say fighters. I'll give you that. But there are guys that are knighted that do the sport, whether it's by a specific government or not. Uh, the American guys were knighted in the beginning, I believe, and they have government... Uh, priority, government permission, what the fuck ever you want to call it, legality, to go make more knights. So technically, you're still wrong. Uh, Hema is what you should look into. Sure. If, if, you, if you want to not wear armor, if you want to not wear historically reproduced armor, if you want to go wear modern age fencing masks and practice with fucking polypropylene swords and fetish warts, which were, again, just training tools. They weren't the real fucking thing. At least this sword actually looks like a real long sword, not just a fetish sword. And it's just blunted for combat. Uh, it's got a brazed on pommel. Oh no, I'm pretty sure there are historical you know, replications of that happening somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much historical and probably has a better, more historical weight than your fetish sword. Yeah, so that's, that's basically my breakdown of shit that you said that was wrong, that is completely retarded. Um, Anything else to add? Let's see. Yeah, no, we I mean, we have to document all our gear. We have to we have to make sure that it, and prove that it existed, basically. So it, if it doesn't get much more historical than that, and all the tournament fighting we do, all the rules, all the everything comes from if I want to say 15th century tournament fighting, tournament rules. These tournaments were made to bring up knights' morale, to to keep them physically fit, to keep them up on the battle tactics. Okay, dude. It's all about tactics when you're doing the boo herd, whatever you want to call it. The, the mass battles that we do. The one-on-one -on -one stuff is just tournament shit, man. It's just, it's, it, it was the same shit they did back then. Points scored by hitting somebody on the fucking helmet, on the fucking body. What the fuck ever, man. It's the same shit. We just adapted a couple extra rules. Made punching, you know, a point. I mean, whatever. So what? We changed the shit a little bit. This is the present. This isn't the past. This isn't actual history, okay, dude? It's the present. It's right now. So I'm sorry we went and made it a little more exciting and a little safer for people. Um, and uh, the video that you posted, well, these guys aren't knights, blah, blah, Well, the one guy in the black with the bassinet, uh, he actually is, all his gear is 100% fucking accurate based off of, of the historical manuscripts. And the other guy, he's dressed up as, I want to say, he's got some Roos kit going on, something like that. So maybe not a knight, but still a fucking medieval warrior. So shove it. Uh, kiss my ass, and one day I hope I get to fight you. I don't care how. I will slap you across the fucking world. I don't care. You're a twat. Um, I'll post in the comments. I'll post a bunch of links uh, to manuscript miniatures and a couple different videos and stuff like that so you can see a lot of the different angles and stuff like that. Um, and my buddy wrote a really good article uh, pretty much addressing the same thing, just a lot classier and a lot fewer swear words. Um, Encased in steel.co.uk. I'll pop that up there if I can. And uh, have fun actually going and researching your shit because you just embarrass the fuck out of yourself. And Pima practitioners, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, I'm sure some of them didn't really appreciate all the shit you said either. So, have a good one.